we will begin our discussion on the applications of trigonometry by solving oblique triangles okay so when i say oblique triangles these are triangles okay, oblique when i say oblique triangles i mean triangles without 90 degrees yeah? so last time we talked about right triangles right triangles contain 90 degree as one of the angles oblique triangles on the other hand contains no 90 degrees so there are two cases for oblique you know so the first one is when all of the angles are acute just just like this okay this triangle is an oblique triangle with the angles or all acute angles and the other one we also have a, a, a triangle where one of the one of the angles is obtuse so this is an obtuse this is an obtuse triangle okay this one is a they are both oblique triangles but this one the first one is an acute oblique triangle and the second one is an obtuse oblique triangle okay so our first lesson is solving oblique triangles using the sign law okay so the sign law okay, the sign law states that a divided by the sign of a is equal to b over sign of b is equal to c over sine of c so what are a b and c so the sine law if you have read the origin of the sine law uh, there is an oblique triangle with vertices a b and c capital letters and opposite vertex a side small letter a b and then c okay so the sign law states that it's proportional okay pair a divided by sine of a so they are opposite the angle and the side are opposite is equal to b divided by sine b which is also opposite and then c over sine c which are also opposite okay so the sign law can be used to solve an oblique triangle but there are specific cases where we can use the sign law okay so there are requirements okay so the first requirement this is uh, uh, the requirement for any triangle for us to solve a triangle there must be at least three given okay three given one side one side at least enough at least one side and any other two and any other two parts should be should be given so to solve a, a, a triangle you know to solve a triangle one side and any other two parts should be given so there are six parts of the triangle three vertices and three sides so para masolve natin itong triangle na to dapat given tayo ng tatlong parts yung tatlong parts na yung dapat isa dapat ay sa side isa o mas marami pa okay so hindi pwede na tatlong angles ang given you know? so one given should be side and any other two parts should be given pwedeng tatlong sides dalawang angles sa isang side pwedeng dalawang side isang angle basta at least three parts should be given in order for us to solve the triangle specifically the sign law can be used for two cases okay dalawang cases yung sign law Unang-una, pwede nating gamitin if ang given ay dalawang side 
two sides at one angle. Okay, this is the first case. We can use the sine law. And then the second case, two angles and one, one side. Okay? So, ito yung dalawang cases na pwede natin gamitin si sine law. Sa unang case, this one, the first case, we can only use the sine law when the angle, this angle, is opposite 1 of the given sides. Okay? Kasi nga, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin ang sine law kapag yung angle ay hindi opposite ng, ng given na sides. Okay? So, itong first case na to, this case, ito, okay, we call it the ambiguous case. Okay, bakit kaya ambiguous case? Okay, we have a problem uh, later on sa mga examples natin concerning this case, the ambiguous case. Kasi, maraming pwedeng mangyari if we are given two sides and one angle opposite one of the given side. So, pwedeng walang triangle na ganun, pwedeng isang triangle lang ang pwedeng mabuo, pwedeng dalawang triangles ang mabuo. Okay? So, we'll talk about the ambiguous case later on sa mga examples natin. So, uh, the examples on the sign law ay nakasentro lamang ano, sa dalawang case na ito. So, all the other cases, we will talk about them uh, and the cosine law. 